So there's a couple of different ways that we can make it so that our players can get more resources in a shorter period of time. One of those ways is obviously Gather Manager. I've done a video on that in the past. If you haven't already seen that and you would like to go that route, of course, check out that video in the top right hand corner right now. Alternatively to that, though, is we can make it so that our players actually have to work for higher gather rates. And depending on what part of the world you're from, this plugin actually has a different name. In Canada, we call this Z Levels Remastered. In the United States, they would call it Z Levels Remastered. And feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know whether you call it Z or Z. Stay tuned, check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully teach you guys some of the pitfalls and traps that you might fall into as you're setting up your servers. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. So as I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about Z Levels Remastered or Z Levels Remastered. Going forward, we're just going to call this Z Levels because it just makes it easier. That's what people are used to calling this plugin. It's been called Z Levels for a long time. I don't know when or why they added the remastered. Say la vie, this is where we are. Before we get into the actual video though, I want to tell you about something else that I'm working on. I've seen a couple of comments and my Discord is starting to fill up a little bit with people asking about Imperium. Imperium is a plugin that was designed by Orange. I've covered a couple of his plugins in the past and I plan to continue covering most of his plugins in the future. This one here caught my attention. The reason why it caught my attention is because there's very little information available about this plugin. It basically says what it does. It doesn't say how to do anything. Thing. So I'm really excited to bring you guys this tutorial because I've got it basically all figured out. If you're brand new to running a server, it's going to seem complicated. So I'm hoping that I can break that down for you guys and definitely simplify it for you. So look forward to that. Stay tuned. That tutorial is coming very, very soon. I'm hoping within the next couple of days. Eh, don't hold me to that. Okay, let's get back to Z Levels Remastered. So Z Levels is available from the UMod website. I'll put a link to it in the video description down below like I always do. And there's just a couple of things that I want to bring your attention to on the actual UMod website. There's a couple of plugins that Z Levels is not compatible with. It could cause a conflict between the two plugins, so I'll just caution you on that. One of them is Hunt RPG, and I don't think there's very many of you out there that are using Hunt RPG, but just to let you know, that is one of the incompatible plugins. The other one is Crafting Controller. So if you want to use Z Levels or if you're having a problem using Z levels and you have crafting controller installed on your server, chances are pretty good that that's where your conflict is coming in. So just get rid of crafting controller. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly install Z levels on my test server. If you've never seen how to install a plugin before, make sure you check out the video in the top right hand corner right now. It shows you exactly how to install a plugin and what to expect while you're doing so. Once you've installed Z levels onto your server, you're going to see a brand new GUI that shows up on your screen, providing of course that you haven't already gone into the config and made this plugin only accessible to those that have a permission. So by default, that permissionable access is set to false. And I'm gonna show you all of those details in just a second, but just to let you know, don't go into the config first. And this is exactly what you're gonna see on your screen right here. Over on the right hand side there, you're gonna see a small scale with a bunch of numbers on it. So as I start mining this stone node, you're gonna see my mining scale starts going up. And in the chat there, it says mining level up. Now that I've leveled up to mining level two, I actually get an increase or a boost as to how much I'm gathering as I'm mining different ore nodes. Now I'm getting 90 per hit. And if I level up once more, which I just did, I'm now level three and now I'm getting a 40% bonus. Now I'm getting 105 per hit. And of course you can see my scale going up on the right hand side there as well with every hit. So this exact same process works for cutting down trees, skinning animals, and picking things up off the ground. That can be stone pickups, hemp cloth, mushrooms, potatoes, whatever. Whatever you can pick up off the ground is going to count towards your acquire bonus. So that's the basics of Z levels. Now let's go into the configuration file of Z levels so that we can actually see what's going on behind the scenes because there's a couple of cool different things in there that weren't there a long time ago when we used to use this plugin back in the day. Let's check out the changes that they've made. So the first section of the configuration file is basically just dealing with the GUI and how you want it to appear on your server. If you're fine with how it looks from default, don't touch anything in this area of the config. We go down just below that. These are the different pickups that are default inside the game that will count towards your acquire bonus so you can toggle things on or off by default everything is set to true if you want to change something so that your player doesn't get credit for it of course change that feature to false another important section just down below that is 
whether crops that people grow in their base, around their base, whatever, you want to determine whether that actually goes towards their acquire bonus. You can toggle that true or false right here. So I'm not going to go through all of the details of this configuration file. You can definitely go in there and see for yourself. There are just a couple of more things that I want to bring your attention to. So by default, exclude chainsaw on gather and exclude jackhammer on gather are both toggled to true, which basically means any of your players that are using chainsaws or jackhammers are not getting any points towards their next bonus level. So if you want players that are using jackhammers and chainsaws to get points towards those next bonus levels, you have to change these to false. So exclude chainsaw on gather, set that to false, exclude jackhammer on gather, set that to false as well. And of course you would save this configuration file and go back to your console and do a reload of Z levels remastered. So now just to warn you, the reason why the developer set these toggles to true by default is because somebody can burn right through, get massive gather rates very, very quickly using a chainsaw or a jackhammer because for obvious reasons, you can gather a lot quicker using those tools. So it's up to you to decide if you want your players to be able to take advantage of those tools and still get credit towards their Z levels. Another thing that's noteworthy inside this config file is we can make this plugin permission controlled. So by default, it's set to false. So everybody in the server gets access to Z levels. However, if you only want a certain group of players to have access, then you would set this to true. And then that'll make it so that only that specific player that has that permission or that specific group of players that has that permission granted to them will get the benefits of Z levels remastered. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Another line that I want to bring your attention to is line number 68. Wipe data on new save and by default this is set to false. So if you want to make it so that after a wipe or you've changed your map or whatever the case may be, if you want all of your players to go back to zero skills or zero bonus points, you would set this to true and the plugin will automatically wipe all of the data information that is associated with Z levels remastered. If you want your player's bonus levels to carry over from wipe to wipe to wipe, then of course you would leave this set to false and then you would have to manually go in and actually delete that data file in order to reset your player's bonus levels. And right down below that section, there is a night bonus that you can enable if you want to. So basically what that means is obviously a player that is performing any of these actions during the night, they can get an increase on their bonus points towards their next level. They can also get an increase just in the gather rate that they're getting at that time. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so after we've made some changes to our config file, of course, you want to save that file and then do a reload on your console so that all of those changes now take effect in your server. So I remember back in the day when I first started playing Rust and then in a very short period of time started getting into server management, we used to use this plugin all the time. I don't really know why we got away from it because it's actually very cool. It can help you grow a strong player base because now they've earned these skills or bonuses towards their gather rates that a brand new player that's joining the server might not necessarily have. So it does give them an advantage by spending time on your server and doing various tasks around your server. They're actually gaining higher skills than brand new players. So it might make it a little bit more difficult for somebody to leave your server. Let's say that they're at a level 20, which by default is the highest level that you can get to with Z levels, they may not necessarily want to go back to another server or their old server or carry on to their new server, whatever the case may be. They may want to stay with your server because they've already acquired that bonus level. Just something to think about. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think this is a cool plugin or not. I remember back in the day when I was playing it, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And guess what? That server that I was playing on earned my loyalty simply because I was able to max out it took me a quite a while to max out, but I did max out. Remember, we didn't have chainsaws or jackhammers back then. And I stayed with that server simply because of that reason. So let me know what you guys think. Is it cool or not? Is this something that you might want to use on your server? Let me know what you guys think. If you guys haven't already done so, make sure you join the Discord. The link is right above me right now. I'll also put a link to it in the video description down below. We recently just passed a thousand members on the Discord and I'm super excited about that. The community is growing at a pace that I never would have imagined. I super appreciate every single one of you. The Discord itself is a really great resource. You've got access to over a thousand people that are doing exactly the same thing that you're doing. So if you have questions, feel free to join that Discord and ask your questions. And if you get comfortable enough, you can start answering questions for other people. If you if you think one day that you might want to help support the channel, of course you can check me out at patreon.com slash srtbull. If you do join my Patreon, you will get your name listed, just like these people on the right hand side of the screen right now, as a show of my appreciation for you supporting my channel. I appreciate every single one of these people. They've helped me in a time where 
maybe help isn't so easy to get these days. So I appreciate the effort that everyone has put forth. We're technically in the second half of the year 2020 right now at the time of the recording of this video. As we all know, the first half of 2020 was a little bit treacherous. So the simple fact that these people decided that they would take it upon themselves and support my channel is huge. And I cannot, there's just no way that I can show enough appreciation for the people that took it upon themselves to help support the channel. I thank you. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Throw me a big thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. I put out a new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So until then, I hope you guys stay safe and take care of each other. And I'll see you all next Friday.